Hi everyone, today we have a DIY video. Since Halloween is right around the corner, we've decided to celebrate Halloween by doing DIY costumes. And we will be showing you how. We will be doing three costumes. The skeleton, the ladybug, and the pumpkin. American Girl inspired us to make our own skeleton costume. So let's get started right now. Here are some drawings I drew. This one is the ladybug costume. And here is the pumpkin costume. And the last one is the skeleton costume. Here are the supplies for the ladybug costume. First we have a one third yard red fabric fleece, a sheet of black felt, red and black pipe cleaners, wire, school glue, fabric adhesive, a chalk marker, elastic, velcro, and a pair of stockings for the wings. Let's start by cutting the red fleece fabric. We're going to need two 11 by 10 inches rectangles. They will be the ladybug costume body. Next, we're going to use this sheet of black felt to make the ladybug spot. We're going to use this spool of thread for the circles. We can use that as a template. We're going to use this chalk marker to outline it. And you keep on doing it for the ladybug spot. After we're done outlining it, we're going to cut it out. Now we're done cutting all the circles out. We're going to put it on the red fleece fabric. On each side, we're going to put seven dots. We're using the school glue to temporarily hold the spots. Then we'll bring it to the sewing machine to sew it down. Now we're done gluing and sewing. This is what it looks like on the back. Here's all the circles sewn together. Another option is that you can use a fabric adhesive to glue the spots onto the body. Now we're going to leave 3 inches for the armholes and 1 inch for the top. We are going to use the chalk marker to mark it so we don't forget our place. After we do this one, we're going to do the second one. This is what the finished armhole and side seam looks like. We are going to sew the top and bottom. Here it is. On the top, we left a space for the elastic. We cut 7 inches elastic. Here is what it looks like. This is for the neck. Here is an overall look of the ladybug costume. On this side, we have the armholes that dolls can put their arms through it. 
Now, after we're done with the costume body, we're going to make the wings. Start by cutting 18 inches of wire and then looping it into a semicircle. Do it to the other one. After, you're going to tie them together and then if you want to secure it, you put tape on it. We're going to use the scotch tape to secure it. Here we have a 10 inch of stockings. We are going to use the leftover for the skeleton's fingerless gloves. Start by looping one onto one of the circles. And the leftover you leave it there. Time for the other one. When you think you're done, you're going to use this fabric adhesive to secure it. If you want, you can find this leftover piece of felt to wrap it up. Then at the end, you use this fabric adhesive. Then, you cut some of the velcros, glue the rough side onto the wings, and smooth side onto the body. While we wait for the glue to dry, we're going to start by making the headband. We're going to twist the red and black together. We're going to use some of this back pipe cleaner to make the antennas. Start by making a circle. Then do it to the other one. After that, you're going to tie it to the headband. We're all done! We are finished with the ladybug costume. Melody is wearing it. She looks super cute. Next! Let's make the pumpkin costume. Here are the supplies we need. We have a 1 3rd yard orange fleece fabric, a black felt sheet, a green felt sheet, fabric adhesive, school glue, pipe cleaners, elastic, a chalk marker, and Velcro. For the pumpkin costume, you cut the same as the ladybug costume. After you cut out the 211 by 10 inches fleece fabric, cut eyes, nose, and mouth on a black felt sheet. After we're done cutting the jack-o'-lantern face, we're going to secure it using fabric adhesive. After we're done putting together the jack-o'-lantern's face, it's time to do the armholes and side seams. And also sew the top and bottom. Now we are going to put elastic on the top and bottom so it looks more plump like a jack-o'-lantern. The top one is 7 inches and the bottom is 10 inches. 
For the pumpkin costume collar, we're going to cut it out using the green felt sheet. Now we are going to cut some velcro and glue it down so it's easier to put on the doll's neck. We are finished with the pumpkin costume. Michaela looks pretty in it. We twisted the green pipe cleaners onto Michaela's hair so it looks like pumpkin vines. And finally, let's make the skeleton costume. Here are the supplies we need. First, we have a pre-made shirt that we can put the skeleton design on. A pair of pants, soft matte white paint, 3D fabric paint that has glow in the dark, a paintbrush, and the leftover stockings for the fingerless gloves. We'll start by painting the skeleton design on the pants and shirt using the white paint. This is the paint we'll be using. Let's start by painting the t-shirt. Always cover your workspace using paper towels so the paint doesn't stain. Then to make painting the t-shirt easy, we are going to open the velcro. We are also going to use this paint palette that we are going to use for the paint. After we paint the shirt, we are going to paint the pants. Since the paint is dry, let's outline it with glow in the dark paint. Yay, we are finished with the skeleton costume. Lizzie looks super scary in it. Now all the girls are ready to go trick-or-treating. By the way, before we forget, for Lizzie's gloves, we use the leftover black stockings. You just wrap it around her wrist. It's easy. We hope you enjoyed watching our DIY tutorial. Tell us in the comments section which doll looks best in the costumes. Also tell us which costume are you and your dolls going to dress in? If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Happy trick or treating!